Shared Preferences is a Flutter plugin that stores data as key values inside your phone's database. By default, Flutter does not preserve your state, so if you close your application and open it again, it clears all your data. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Shared Preferences plugin to persist data inside our local storage. To use Shared Preferences in our project, we first of all need to import this dependency inside our powerspec.yaml file. So let's start working with our example. At the first step, we define a counter variable that's equal to zero initially. And then we define our init state method inside which we use the load counter. So let's define the load counter method. This is the method using which we're gonna initialize our shared preferences. So the first thing we're gonna do is to create an object of shared preference. And then we set the state while we also update the counter variable. So here we are using the preferences object, we define a path and using the get int method. And as you see, this method is gonna return an optional integer. So we also have a key. We use this counter key to get our integer from shared preferences. And if the value is null, it means we have not yet defined any key called counter. We're gonna set it to zero. So now let's define our increment method. That is a future. Inside which first of all, let's define an object of shared preference. And at the next step, we add one to the counter. Let's also update the value of counter inside the shared preferences. For that we use a set int method that is a future. It is gonna reflect our new version of counter that we have updated here inside the shared preference. And make sure you do not mistype the key that is counter. So we also need to set the state to make sure the changes are reflected in the UI. And next let's define a decrement method this is exactly like the increment method. Again, we define a shared preference. Again, this time we minusing one from the counter. And again, we're gonna set the new value of the shared preference. And lastly, like always, we need to set the state to reflect the changes in the UI. So now let's design the body of our application. At the first step inside the body, let's define a center with a child of column. I have set the main axis alignment to center. So inside the children, the first widget I'm gonna define is a counter widget. This is the widget that I have already defined here. So if we now save, you see, this is our counter widget. Inside it we have a value and our value is a counter. Next we have a size box of height 70. Underneath we have a row. The main axis alignment is set to center. Inside which we're gonna have a counter button. So this is our decrement button inside which we pass our decrement that we have defined above. Next we put a size box and also our increment button. So if we now hit save, you see that our application is complete. Now let's test our application out. So I am adding some value to the counter. I am also decreasing it. You see that the values are being reflected. But if I close my application now, and if I even get rid of it here, so let's open it again, and you see that our state is preserved. So that was all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. I will also put the link to the source code in the description. See you guys in another tutorial.